this is our setup for today. Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and I'm the owner and creator of The Eighth Salt. It is my handmade small business where I make scrunchies and hair accessory type products. In today's video, I'll be bringing you all along with me to my Saturday market today. It's an early morning farmer's market and it starts at 8am and runs until 2pm. It's actually my regular Saturday weekly market. I trade at this market every single week. However, I haven't been there for some time as I did take a bit of a break from markets. So it'll be my first time back there in a while, but we will be getting back into the swing of things. Some background about this market it is an early morning farmer's market. It starts at 8 a.m. and runs until 2 p.m. It's held in the entertainment quarter in Sydney, which houses a lot of um, functions and events. It has a very large prestigious dance school. Um, it has a cinema. It has a whole bunch of restaurants and cafes. It has a concert pavilion. It has a football stadium. Um, it also holds Fox Studios, which fills for television. And it holds a whole bunch of exhibitions and events throughout the year as well. And that is where the market is held. The market is held under a very large fixed canopy. So it is an outdoor market, but we don't actually need our gazebos, which is always a plus for me. As um, if you are new to this channel, I trade at markets on my own. So I set up a trade the day and then pack down all on my own. So not having to pack and um, wheel in and set up a gazebo is always a plus for me. We have always traded in the middle section towards the front um, with all the other retail sections, with all the other retail storeholders, I should say. However, there are other sections for retail to trade, which is along the side, which does require you to have a gazebo. However, there has been a change in layout for this market. So um, we did have a fixed permanent position there. However, that has now obviously changed with the whole layout change. So we are now in a different section of the market, which is the middle part, which is near the bakeries and um, the bread and the, the dessert section. So we will see what that is like today. It'll be new for me and new for you. Um, I'm a bit excited and a little nervous, so we will see what it is like. As I did mention earlier, I have taken a little break from markets recently. Um, and yeah, just, just took some time off from markets. However, keep in mind that this is my full-time business. So trading at markets is how I, um, earn my income. So we will be getting back into that. I did have a couple markets scheduled a couple weeks ago, which I brought you along to one of them. And then I had some markets scheduled for last week. Oh, okay. So I have, uh, or had, um, applied for two markets um, last week um, as always and then um, as the week kind of was going on I was waiting for the approvals to come through and then they weren't coming through and then Tuesday they weren't coming through and then Wednesday I was like they're not coming through and then Thursday I'm like okay they are usually approved pretty early on what is going on so I checked my application for both of those markets, which are um, two separate market organizers. So it was two separate um, applications. And then for one of those markets, um, my application, I forgot to put my business name and my details. So they didn't actually know who applied that I had applied or who applied. And they obviously therefore didn't have any contact details to send me an approval so that's what happened with that one and then the second one i actually ended up applying for the wrong date so i ended up choosing it was a drop down menu and i picked around two or three weeks in advance so they obviously that wasn't a priority for them to approve yet and i obviously didn't have a market for that day but 
I mean, obviously the signs were not to trade at the markets last weekend. Um, that was pretty clear. Um, very unfortunate. I don't know how I managed to do that. I applied for both of those markets at the same time. So I must have been very, very tired or something. I don't know. But we were not at any markets last weekend. That's why there was no video last week. But yeah, we are getting back into those. And Hey, at least I'm early and um, have an application in for, I believe it's the market I applied for is either next week or the week after. So, I mean, at least we're early with that. But right now we are a couple months into spring, but we've had had some pretty rainy days this week and last week as well. So it's a little chilly today, although it's not really forecast to rain, it's still a little chilly so i am actually in a comfy track set um my shoes are from joe mercer they're just the regular shoes that i usually wear my track set is from kmart um, and then i've just got a basic white shirt underneath as well so very very chilled very very casual um, comfy and you know warm which is what we were going for today um, it is a very early morning market so I aim I'm aiming to get there at around seven um, to set up my stall and obviously um, work out exactly where I am and things however we are running really 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 late so it's around quarter to seven now so I'm definitely not going to be able to get there at seven today um, it is about a 45 minute drive from me. So we are going to be super, super late by now um, at 6.45. I am usually already on the road and, you know, pretty close by because I usually do aim to get there at 6.30. Well, the summer markets, I usually aim to get there at 6.30. And then during the winter colder months, I usually aim to get there at 7. But we will definitely not be making that today. Um, but I mean, ah, uh, well, we will obviously be setting up our stall after the market has started, but there's not much that I can do about that at this stage. Um, it is already, um, yeah, as I said, 6.45. So the market does start at 8 a.m. So yeah, um, but anyway, um, we will be heading downstairs now and making some tea to take with us. I will also be making a coffee as well and bringing both of those with us just to make sure we are awake and alert for the day. Um, I don't have any lunch prepared as I usually do so we will be um, buying our lunch from the market today which is what I almost always usually did. However, recently, uh, particularly this year, I have been packing, taking packed lunches. So today we will be getting back into buying some lunch. So without further ado, I'm going to head downstairs and pack that. And then I will see you all when we get to the market.
spilled my coffee. Morning guys, we are really late today. It's around 8.30. So we ended up getting here at around quarter to eight. And as I mentioned earlier, it is a farmer's market. So it did actually begin at eight. So we were super, super late this morning. Usually by 7.45, I'm usually nearly set up. So um, if you know, you know, I'm usually pretty early um, with my markets. So it's around 8.30, it's actually 8.40 now and I finished setting up at around 8.30 um, and obviously usually by 8.30 I'm well and truly set up and probably already made a couple sales by then here as well because it is pretty busy um, in the early morning but we were super late and if you saw in the footage earlier I did actually spill my coffee all over my tablecloth um, I ended up knocking it um, on accident with my one of my containers and it spilled all over my tablecloths and my tablecloths are white so it's pretty obvious and it was right in the center and right in the front um, in a spot that I can't really hide with my usual layer it's where I usually have my hair claws um, and I usually have my usual setup for the hair claws is a um, wooden board which I lay out and I lay them my hair claws on that and if you've seen my previous vlog I recently changed that and got rid of that white um, that wooden pegboard and just started displaying them right on the table instead so I mean that was a bit of a bad luck or a lot of bad luck so um, I ended up switching the scrunchie baskets in place to hide the pretty big coffee stain and then put the hair curls on the other side which I will show you guys all in a second I'll give you a tour of my whole 
um, store layout because I have changed a few things for today's market because um, as I mentioned earlier as well there has been a very major layout change for the market and our spot has changed as well which means our table arrangement and how we have our tables layout is changed as well so I've had to adjust my layout which is fine that's unusual for markets um, and I'll show you all how I did that and what I adjusted in a second but for now um, I'm just gonna drink some tea and chill out because yeah um, I had to run and grab some tissue paper to clean up and mop up the tablecloth and things and that just delayed my setup and we were already late anyway so I'm just gonna sit chill drink some coffee and then I will check back in with you all a little later on we will also be taking a tour around the market as well it is pretty busy at the moment so um, we'll take a tour early morning maybe around 9 30 and then I will check back in with you all a little later on This is our setup for today. It's obviously a lot different than usual and that's for a number of reasons. The main one is I spilled half my coffee on my tablecloth. Um, I tried to dry it as much as I can but it's pretty soaked through. So the baskets have been shifted this way. They are usually in front of this pegboard here but yeah because our last update I got rid of our wooden board for the hair clips so had I actually still had that um, we would have been able to cover the coffee spill but not for today it's actually all over the table so that's not great so that's why they're there oh you can see it everywhere <laughs> I'm just gonna close that gap there um, and then I put the hair cloth here in front of the kids pegboard um, which is where those two baskets usually are but this is just how it's going to be for today and I definitely prefer it without the wooden board so we are definitely keeping this layout going forward then we've got the XLs for the kids and then the regular versions here got my business cards and my post terminal that is my clearance and last one basket and then some random regular ones here. That is the coffee in question that spilled everywhere. There's some regulars. This is also new layout and obviously as you all would have known or if you're new, this pegboard takes me the longest because I always rearrange it and don't really have a fixed placement for all of the hooks. So I usually have my keychains and then the hair clips and then I was having the pink gingham collection with the hair clips and then I had the pink gingham with the baby bunny ears and the hair clips and now we've got my skinny satins up there with the hair clips which I think looks pretty cute they usually have their own little stand up over here somewhere but they are up on the pegboard for today because I have not yet sewn up more of the pink ginghams so we are running really low on those I've only got about three pieces left for that whole collection so I put the regular ones up there and then these are the XL satins and chiffons and then the regular ones in the baskets here so that's the usual layout but that's what it looks like. That is my view for today. Not bad.
um, as she was browsing and things and she ended up buying one of my jelly hair claws so that was really good and then I've had some pretty consistent sales after that as well um, and some good consistent sales so uh, people are definitely buying quite a few in one transaction which is awesome because lately people have only been buying one maybe two items and today they've been purchasing you know two or three some even have purchased four items from me so in the one transaction so it's been a pretty good uh, this morning already um the market does finish at two so we are more than halfway at the moment so so far so good um it's pretty busy here as well i hope you guys can hear me i'm talking pretty fast so i'll slow down um but yeah there's quite a few patrons about here um it's a very family friendly market so um there's a whole bunch of people here for the fruit veg the hot food and the florist which is down there um we did take a tour earlier on it's the layout is so different compared to what it usually is um, and the vibe is quite different as well um, because of that so I'm not sure which one I like better but I guess it will take some getting used to because I have been training here every single week since February last year so yeah I am one of the regulars here so I was kind of used to the other layout but you know it will just need some getting used to for this one and yeah but um, it is 11.30ish now so we will be grabbing some lunch I am pretty hungry um, and I didn't end up packing lunch today which I have been doing recently there is a um, bacon and egg roll store here today which I buy from every single Saturday well we used to buy from every single Saturday last year so and at the beginning of this year as well before I started taking some packing lunches to um, bring with me so we will be heading over there for sure because I haven't had that in a hot minute so um, I usually get a sausage egg and um, grilled onion roll with some tomato or bacon sauce so we will be heading over there and grabbing one of those there is a pretty big line for it so I'll place my order and then come back to my stall um, and I usually wait about 10 minutes before I go back and collect it so we will be doing that now. I have finished my coffee which was ice cold by the time I got to finish what was left of it anyway. And I've started drinking my tea as well which is still pretty warm so um, we are two months into spring actually so um, and the weather's a little cold today. It's around 19 degrees um, and that's Celsius. We are in Sydney so a little cold for spring but it is what it is with these outdoor markets but we are gonna grab some lunch now and I'll check back in with you all in a moment
an update um, now because the market does finish at two. So I'll give you another update before the end. Um, one, me and myself have been pretty good in the last hour since I checked in with you all. Um, obviously not as busy as the morning period because it is a farmer's market so it's definitely a lot busier in the morning but they still pretty consistent um, compared to the morning and people are definitely buying um, a bunch of scrunchies and hair claws in the one transaction which has been pretty awesome so far. My best seller has definitely been my satin skinny scrunchies today and I think that's because I've displayed them on the boards. Um, it's the first time I've ever done that so the display for them is usually a standalone stand which I have on the table. They're usually part of my table display but because I haven't gotten around to sewing up some more of our pink gingham scrunchies um, for the board, I did put them on there um, in place of them um, and yeah they're looking kind of cute. I'll still be around to show you but that's what they look like. So, um, yeah, I have still quite a few of them, which has been awesome. So, I think I might keep the display like that going forward as well. Um, it is a bit of a trial and error with these things. I do only have a two scrunchy boards and a much smaller one. So, I've swapped out that much smaller one for this medium sized one. So, I'm still testing out what to put on it. Um, if I should keep it as a fixed kind of item or just keep doing what I have been doing lately which is just swapping it out depending on what I want to display but I think it's looking pretty good like this I'll see if I can try and fit the mini baby bunny e versions on there as well but that will be obviously for another market but yeah so far so good in terms of the trading um, I'm still sipping on my tea so I've had that coffee and almost finished that whole tea and I mean all that caffeine are we awake? I don't know. Um, I've been yawning quite a lot since lunch which was pretty young but yeah um, the yawns have been coming through since then but we will be taking another tour around the market closer to the end maybe at around 1.30 just before it finishes maybe 1.45 um and then i will obviously check back in with you all at the end of the day but so far so good and i will check back in with you all in a bit Spreading.
Okay guys, so it's around a quarter to two at the moment and the market does finish in about 15 minutes so we will be, I will be packing down my store pretty soon um, and the whole market will be packing down pretty soon anyway so I thought I would jump on and give you guys the last update for today. My sales have been pretty good today considering um, how they have been lately so definitely a thumbs up for that. Our satin skinnies have definitely been our best seller. Um, and we kind of worked that out from the uh, morning, from the beginning of the market. So they were a pretty hot seller um, in the morning and they have still been our biggest seller today. And I did have a lady purchase about three of my mini hair claws in one transaction which boosted our hair claw sales today. So that was pretty good as well. Overall, um, people were buying quite a few items in one transaction which has been pretty awesome because lately people have only been buying one, maybe two items um, at a time so that's been pretty good. That was the same at um, our last market as well. So that is definitely a good sign for the upcoming Christmas season and the holiday season and the summer market season as well. So definitely looking forward to that i'm definitely liking the way we've displayed our satin skinnies on the board i think that's definitely helped um the sales with those because um I, yeah i do usually have them as part of my table display so they're definitely a lot more um on a high level on the board and they look pretty cute on the board as well with the makeup hair clips so um, we will definitely be keeping that um, layout in our rotation of layouts for that board but um, but um, yeah it's been a pretty good trading day considering what it has been like lately for trading and markets so definitely a thumbs up for today but my battery is running out I only have about 10% left so I will be ending off the vlog here. Thank you all for coming along with me to my regular Saturday morning market today. I hope you all enjoyed spending the day with us and you felt like you were here with us at the market and experiencing the market vibe and atmosphere with us. I have a lot of market vlogs installed for you all. I have two booked in for next week, which I will be bringing you all along with me as well. So if that is something you're all interested in, do make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification for when I upload all those videos and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!